Hello everybody, welcome back to hour number four of Die Party Blood Juice, week number ten. We're gonna go for an hour and a half because of the internet shortage that Graham just had, but we are ready to go. Graham, uh, what's this I hear about uh, cat sprays? What are we doing? <laughs> well, I believe we see, uh, you know, Roland sleeps first. <laughs> and then wakes up. Ah, ah, ah. Me, me, me. <laughs> and, uh, and uh, then begins to, you know, with Eye of the Tiger in the background, begins to work. Eye of the Tiger. So, Graham, I yeah. know that my father's notes contain designs for a smoke bomb. Yeah. A smoke granade. What's your father's uh, name? Uh, you don't you, know. None not of your business. Um, That's a weird name. <laughs> so I'm going to modify it to do vapor, water vapor instead of smoke. Sure. I I break out the uh, the the the, the smeltery, the kiln. Uh, I get to work. There's a montage yep. sequence. So you're able to make um, three of these, right? I, I, I yes, as the goal. Okay, that's fine. This is, this will be nighttime now though since you slept most of the day. You know I yes. love I love how this is the first time in all of Die Party uh, like history for this particular game, like for the first season and the second season, that someone's actually preparing for an encounter. Yeah, it's it's great, isn't it? Yeah, it's super weird. I mean, it's great to have players that think super ahead. Super weird. <laughs> <laughs> Planning? What's that? Perhaps England wakes up and comes over and, and wonders what the hell I'm doing. I mean, I'm, yeah. you, you guys I, mean, I am on a knowledgeable in engineering. Now. Hmm. I'm, I'm knowledgeable in engineering, so I could help. I don't That's know. kind of my thing. Really? How, what's your engineering score? Well, I mean, no. yes, yours is going to be higher because you're ridiculous intelligence. You got Actually, it's 18. You can't 18. Get red. Mine's 21. Oh. Yes, I can't uh, fail. Mm. Uh, hmm, huh, hmm, I would make an engineering check just for fun. But of course, as England came by, oh, so, oh, oh, obviously. Oh, hey, Graham. Oh, God. So, as. <laughs> since I, may, I make, may, may I examine his notes and make a roll myself to see if I can actually make this oh, contraption? Fucking God! <laughs> Firstly, I love it. <laughs> firstly, whenever, whenever Angelard, whenever you open the door to Roland's uh, uh, a study, a, a wave of holy water mist comes out. No, it doesn't, because I wouldn't use the holy water on the first test. <sighs> yeah, I mean that. that I mean, would use well water. Come on, Ram. What do you take me for? Someone who just failed an unfailable roll. He already knows, <laughs> he already knows they failed the check. <laughs> oh my god. Of course I used well water for the first test. <laughs> it's not that. You were able to do it with well water, fine. But whenever you try to do it with holy water, <clears throat> you mess up and roll a one. Okay. <laughs> not bad. Go back and get some more. Alright. Yeah, I mean, we'll just lose white one. I don't know. It was still funny. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... Me, actually. Alright, now I'm going to look at his note. At, um... I'm now you're all like a what? sauna. What just? What are you doing in here? I don't know. <laughs> this is science. <laughs> um. So I'm what? I'm wearing my bow tie. <laughs> I just. You can't take it off. You're I'm... always wearing it. <sighs> you no. Know Can I help? Uh, sure. I'm having problems with, uh, it, it's flashing. It, it's it, the steam. It flashes. It hits the thing. It goes. It, 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 I'm, I'm not getting a controlled release. Hmm. So I pro. let's see. Oh, so I probably, um, go over, look at his, um, however you set it up. Yeah, there's oh, a catch. Oh. That's out of line. Yeah. Oh, see, it's just the, it's just the catch. It's really it's quite simple fix. So I'm oh, just good job there, England. Fix it, and then just like there. So was this yeah, for exactly? Yeah, the, the, the engineer, yeah. Hey, uh, uh, I'll call this. Uh, I'll call this the England. After you, congratulations! You've invented okay. 
a device that can vaporize holy water into a fine mist that'll fill a space. <sighs> All right. Are you following me yet, England? Yes. We yes. have a cave filled with undead, England. Yes, we have I to know. Walk I through the cave, England, without getting Roland, caught by undead. Have... Rowan, in anyway. case you didn't know, I have dealt with plenty of undead in my, in my time. I yes. did not know that. Trust, trust me. It was. It was. An I was playing a different character at that time. You see. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know what you mean by that, but don't worry about it. Existential questions, existential <laughs> debates. <laughs> All right, uh, let's let's try and get a nap in so that we can travel tomorrow. Uh, All right. Oh yeah. Are you, guys, are you guys planning to sleep during the night or travel during the night? Because it's it's pretty late afternoon right now. Hmm. So what? Um, so I, I, I imagine, I imagine you, you slept before this. Well, so I slept through the day, which brought yeah. me to night. So I was actually working at night, and England came yeah. around at night. So yeah. it's probably like morning soonish or early. Uh, no, morning. it's um, you guys. You slept a good eight hours, but it's still a late afternoon. I mean, well, I, I'm confused. So you 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 worked for you, you worked for some hours. It's nighttime. It's like nine p.m. All right. Well, uh, well, okay. Yes. Uh, is it 9 p.m. on the 13th day? Yep. Okay. So what we're going to do is actually we're ready. We're going to find the hobbits, the halflings. The hobbits. We're going to find the halflings and the dwarves who are <laughs> supposedly our allies. <laughs> yeah. We're going to get them together at a table. Okay, there they are. They're in the tavern. Good. Yep, the game broke again. Fucking Skype is just the worst tonight. It really is. Man, yes. Skype is just being Skype the biggest is killing of the poop lords. Oh my god. Skype, please. Skype, please. Wow. Oh my god, Skype. I don't know, man. You, you realize this is going out live on the internet, Skype. This is really helping your... <laughs> this isn't helping your numbers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, know, some good back. advertising. Um, you know, I think I'm about to crash again. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, 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 we're good. We're good. No, All right, good. I, I look to the halflings and to the dwarves. They are, oh. they are well drunk. All right, you guys. So here's the deal. Which one among you is brave enough to help us rescue? Wally and Amy. Well, we're, we're all brave enough, says Murray. <laughs> because I'll save anybody. Right, really? Are you sure? Anybody. Because tomorrow, we're going to the Caves of Chaos. Yeah, 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 we are. And you're coming? Woo! Okay, then. Taking really your word for it. <laughs> yeah, the halflings are well drunk. The dwarves are uh, tipsy. Uh, you know, how do the doors do? respond? They say, "What are we looking to fight against?" Uh, we can handle looking ourselves. Not to fight at all. It, but we can. Uh, what We've are, got a what plan kind of, uh, to sneak past. There's okay. I'm not going to tell you the plan because there's spies everywhere. But we got a plan to sneak past the first obstacle, and then we're just going to try and it worked. We got we broke one guy out of there already. Actually, we're pretty good at it. They're, they're easily distracted, I think. Um, so, the byword is stealth, but uh, if, if you really want to prepare specifically, I would, I would, I would focus on uh, protection. And, if it's uh, stealth you're looking for, Bymond, you man. Bymond, huh? Is that right, Bymond? Bymond's not there. Oh, he's not? Who's Bymond? You say stealthy, you can't see him. He's the other halfling. Yeah, no, he's, he's their... Uh, He's their other nephew, or their other cousin, rather. He's he is actually a rogue. Yeah, he's, well, the, he's, like, he's the good is he, one. Is he the, still uh, knocked out, like sleeping in that no, bed? No, he's just being lazy and sleeping. But yeah, oh. he's still pure. all right. Well then, tomorrow, who's ever, who, whichever one of you is is willing, we're setting out. Uh, yep. First Sounds thing in the morning. Good. Don't tell nobody. 
I'll tell everybody. No, tell nobody. <laughs> Why not? Trust me. Secret tr mission. Shh. Secret? How should he, how should he hush? <laughs> right. I love right. secret missions. Good. Good. Keep it secret. Right. Otherwise, it'll be a, a, a an awful, boring public mission. You don't want that, do you? Oh, no. Of course not. Shh. Shh. <laughs> I look at the dwarves who are not as drunk, and I'm like, you keep him silent tonight. Uh, yeah, uh, can do, boss. All right, yeah. this is the this is it, guys. This is the day that we save the veil. Hands in the middle. Again. Okay, yep, hands in the middle. Roll, Murray, roll Murray miss, and put misses and puts his hand somewhere else. And then Thundercats, ho! I say. They're like, what? <laughs> what the hell is a Thundercat? <laughs> oh, I hate Thundercats. <laughs> Real thing in this setting. <clears throat> Lightning bolt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, yep, okay. So what do you do after that? We uh, try and sleep, even though our clock is all wrong. And in the yeah. morning, we go out. First thing in the morning, morning you show we're gonna, up. We're gonna rescue there. Wally and Amy. Murray is there. Bymon is there. He's got his. Uh, oh. he's, he's decked out for battle. He's got his ring mail. Oh uh, yeah, I would. Uh, I'd say um, Bymon is there. I'll he's see. got his black leather. Um, he's got a uh, number of daggers on his belt. Um, the dwarves are there. Uh, Gimac and Burr. And Gimak has a heirloom sword that he carries all the time, always has. And Burr has a crossbow that he made himself. All right, guys. All right. Well, this first of all, guys. Jesus Christ, I've been trying to say something. <laughs> all right. All right, so before I would have left my room in the morning, obviously after I fed Pike, give Pike okay. something else. It, would he actually, just a quick question, would he be recovered enough to be able to walk with us? or? He'd be a liability even if he was, unless he's fully yeah. recovered. He needs Walter to be there to be able to take any sort of directions. Hmm. We need Walter to be within eye, eye of sight. I did leave him with a message to say that um, to to follow Engelard around, but he hasn't been doing that. So because yeah. he's been too sick, and he probably that, still is. And it's he, been like three or four days. Yeah, it's and, been one or three or four days. It's been like. Oh, and oh. also, it's it's worth pointing out that. Um, even if I leave him with something to do, if he feels like doing something else, he's going to do something else. Like, that's just how the bonded animal system works. Like, I yeah. can tell him to stay, and then he'll have to make a series of checks to see whether or not he just gets bored and walks away. Like, <laughs> you know, there's, there's that sort but of stuff. That's all that physically there, yeah, he gets, he becomes more animalistic. Yeah. Well, that's fine, then. But he, wouldn't, like he wouldn't outright attack people that he knows. I mean, no. like, that's... Oh, well, yeah. yeah. Well, except, except when he feels threatened like he did before. Yeah, that's possible. I mean, yeah, circumstances change. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I guess we can't help this, but... I mean, before I would go out of my room, I need... I would probably say a prayer before I would leave. Mm -hmm. Well, I remember, I... It probably... I would probably send two of them. One to O'Hennel and one to Riddell. Um, since that seems appropriate in this situation. With what kind of content? I mean, something simple. Like, to, to O'Hennel, I'd probably just say... Oh, O'Hennel... Please protect me from the undead once again. I fear, for I'm going into another horn, and I fear I will not return without your assistance. Henley blesses you. Wait, what did you say? Yep. And then Riddell, I would um. <laughs> <laughs> just that joke just went. Whoosh, whoosh. I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> yep. Um. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. I don't care. Then to Riddell, I'd probably ask him. Um, oh, Riddell. Bless me and bless my blade, so that I will, so I will guide um, guide to the hearts of my enemies. For I I'm going into the belly of the beast, and I will, and I wish to retrieve my friend. Okay, sounds good. Been a long you have no yeah you have no form of feedback, but that's fine. Yep, uh, I mean I didn't expect any feedback. Of course, never expect any. Right. That's true. I lead our, our I lead, and uh, also we'd probably grab more holy water. Remember. Fella, yeah, well, well, we make sure we have enough to power all three devices, which each take three holy waters. Sure. Yep. Um, and I would take yeah. maybe a spare one for my sword. Yep. All right. We'll take a couple Sorry. spares. We'll... Yeah, go sure. Yeah, we'll take a couple spares, make sure that it, it, there, we just have it, because we're going up against Undead again, apparently. Um, and once we're out past the gate, then I'll start actually mm -hmm. describing the plan in detail to our merry men. Our fellowship of Thistleboroughs, or something. I don't know. Yeah, M uh, Murray. Murray is falling behind, and he's complaining. And he, you can still see the keep, mind you. 
Murray? Murray? What? Why are we out here? All right, here's the plan. We know a back entrance into the Caves of Chaos. Caves of where Chaos? Wa where Wally and Amy are surely uh, captured. Oh, and yeah, of course. where the gold... Wait, you have no idea where I am. Like, let's be honest here. Like, you have well, absolutely I, he's no assuming. idea. He's assuming. He's assuming. I, he's making I, plenty of assumptions about everything. Yeah. I mean, I'm assuming. I mean, Walls are. Ah, uh, no, Walls. Even Walls is assuming that you that you're still with the bandits or something. I mean, that's what. I'm you're telling them what they need to hear. Actually. Okay, true. Okay. Mm. True. Uh, and where the gold that was stolen from the dwarves is also surely stashed. The back entrance is guarded by mindless undead, but we've found a countermeasure which will allow us to pass through safely. We're going to sneak in, rescue our friends, find the gold, kill an evil wizard, and save the veil forever and ever. The end. <clears throat> Murray! If you're going to complain the whole way, you can just go turn around, and we're going to say <laughs> where everyone's going to talk about, in all the stories, in the songs, there'll be the one line where it's like, and Murray, he turned away because he was a big complainer. <laughs> Murray, Sir Murray, Sir Murray. He runs away. Well, and he'll look back towards the keep, and he'll look back toward you, toward you, and he'll look back to the keep again. Oh, all right. And he comes along. All right. Now, don't worry, guys. It's 17 hours to our secret <laughs> entrance. 17 hours? <laughs> Trust me, we'll be fine. We're gonna. That mean we're gonna. We're gonna sleep. We're gonna go yeah. for a day and sleep and then go. So, yeah. you yeah, know, it, it, if it's easier on you, maybe you can even stash your ring mail in your backpack for now. It, it's it's just a it's travel time. That's all it is. We travel. Oh. Yep. Okay. We follow the map to the ruins where we slept well and yep, safely. You sleep, you sleep again. Yep. 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 Uh, we um, do a before... plus. Speaking I mean, about sleeping, how am I faring in a little situation? <laughs> well, you you got sleep, so you're fine again. Yay! All right, good. Um, there's a little. I, I will mention to Walzer that if you are still um, planning on completing your original objective, um, you're not doing a very good job. But you're also crippled, and I don't know if you've given up or not. Like there is no way I'm getting out of this cell. I don't even have a second arm. Like, there's literally so, nothing I can do to get... I mean, like I asked you before, my intentions were to, like, uh, over over time, like, you know, arm myself with a piece of iron by, like, peeing in the bucket then pouring the bucket on the, on the wood to, like, rot it so that I can get the metal out, but... You know... That may have been lost on my internet. Yeah. You said that all the iron was connected together in one solid chunk, and I'm like, okay, it's not worth doing, because it's going right. to take me a lifetime to get through that wood. But if it was one bar, I could potentially have loosened it with my muscle and by, you know, corroding the the wood away. But yeah, yeah. it's if it was connected, then I'm not going to do it. So, which you said okay. it was. So. Sure. So essentially, given up. <clears throat> well, uh, healing. I wouldn't say it's giving up. Healing I mean, um, right now, and uh, there's like you've got you've got five days essentially. Yeah. Yeah. I. I, I mean, like, it's, is it's, there it's, any it's way? I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying this is not a hard situation. It's it's the way it is. Yeah. Is there any way of me knowing the time that's gone by in this cell as well? Yeah. I mean, you count days by meals that you've gotten. Okay, hmm. that makes sense. It does, yeah. Um, well, I guess the next time that they come past with the guard, after I've slept, I guess. Um, okay, that'll I, be that, that'll be when when the guys leave the keep. Okay, yeah. I'll I'll say to the guard, I was like, "You there? I need to speak to Andrew." Say. What for? I don't think he wants to talk to you. You'll want to talk to me. You make sure that he knows that I have information that he needs. And me sitting, rotting away in this cell is not going to make it any easier. I'll see what Habran has to say about that. 
You do that. Got any more of that bread? I'm starving. <laughs> he, uh, yeah, okay, that's fine. He doesn't give you any more bread. He just, that's fine, yeah. He gives you his your regular piece of bread. Fine. <clears throat> Yep, that's he fine. leaves. Um, later on that day, while the guys are traveling, we see, you know, like a montage of traveling. Yep, we see the, all the shots from New Zealand. Yeah. <laughs> so you so the red, don't really match up. A red line. Where we, it's a, for the, in the film version, it's a, it's a static camera shot of the forest, and we see, you know, Roland go by, and, the, you know, in slow motion, you know, slightly slow motion. You know what I mean? Yep. We see Roland go by, and then Engelard. And Murray and everybody's got a very, you know, taciturn expression on their face, except Murray, who is whistling. Terribly. Good for him. <laughs> yeah. Whatever it takes to not have him complain the whole way. Ravis and Bymon and Gimmack and Burr in. Uh, yep. In uh, in line. Okay, and then uh, back to Walzer. Eventually, Balber comes to uh, comes to uh, talk to you. You don't know Balber. Mm. And he says. He says, "What's this about talking to Andrew? He told us to keep an eye on you." Yes, I would like to talk to him, please. Why? The same reason a man wants to talk to any other man. I, I don't have know information that... that he needs to hear, and I'm willing. I'm finally willing to share it. Well, how about this? You tell me, and I'll make sure he gets it. No, that doesn't benefit me in any way. Either I sit here and rot, and then you will never... Oh, and, and Andrew will never hear what he needs to hear. Or he gotta, comes here and talks to me in person. You're not giving me anything to work on. Son. Yes, well, there's a reason I'm here, and it's because I haven't been sharing my information with him. Uh -huh. And now well, I'm willing to. So, you know, do the math. Andrew's very busy. Andrew's very busy. Uh, you know, it, it's it, this isn't worth my while. It's speculations and... And um, and false promises. Speculations? It's, it's the whole reason I'm here, you idiot. Which is what? I don't know. I don't know what you're saying. You could be lying. You could be saying anything. You're the one in the cell. You're not in the point. To be well, making. then, what makes you think I will tell you what I need ye, him to hear anyway? That makes no fucking sense. If I'm lying, I could lie to you. That's why I want to talk to Andrew. You fucking goddamn stupid piece of shit. All right. Rotten here. Forget, forget your bread. And he walks away. <sighs> it's a good thing we're about to rescue you, because you're not yep. making any friends. <laughs> this is how you don't make friends, people. Yeah, well, I'm playing a character right now. So. We, know, we know. And, and we're saying it's a good thing your character Droga. has yeah. friends. I had to look coming. in the book. I had to look in the book to work out what the fuck this thing's called. <laughs> 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 Which book are you looking at? Uh, the, my notebook that I keep. Oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, Ansel, do you have anything to say during that uh, encounter? Well, I, I know I've, I've been listening, but you know, obviously he he wasn't he wasn't referred to as Walzer, correct? No. no. Okay. Um, is uh, shit. What's the dwarf's name? Uh, uh, Balmer. Balber. Balber. Is he is he still there? He's walking away in a huff now. Um, you can catch him if you Willie, want. To. Willie is gonna say, "Balber, get back here! Get back here, boy!" Now what do you want? Willie's gonna say, "What's going on? You kept us here long enough. We haven't talked to anyone. There's some idiot in the cell next to us. He can't sleep. He tosses and turns all night. Keeps me awake. I'm getting irritated." What's going on? Who's in charge? <laughs> he says... He says, what do you care? What do I care? I'm locked in this cell. It's the only thing I care about. You, your usefulness is in... involves being alive, not having a tongue. Excuse me? How am I useful to you? Mansell's going to say, careful, Willie. Careful. He'll just uh, he'll walk away. 
Oh, Willie will say, well, fuck that guy then. You you hear Balbert tell tell one of the door guards, he says, uh, says no no food today. Mm. Um, Ansel will say, hey, hey, Jim, who's Andrew? A man. A human? He happens to be male. As I said, I'm the only human here. So, is he an orc? A goblin? Who is Andrew? I say nothing in case I wasn't clear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I say nothing, I, yeah. I sit on my bucket with the sad Charlie Brown music playing in the background. All right. I got a rock. Man. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Time passes. You're hungry now because you weren't fed. That's fine. I take out one of the bread I've been saving and eat it. Okay. Yeah. Good. Uh, Ansel, you didn't save any bread. Uh, I saved, like, right. one piece. Okay, fine. Uh, your, your purpose here uh, remains nebulous and unclear. My and purpose? So, yeah, uh, your, okay. your presence here remains, uh, the reason remains unclear. Like, the reason why I'm there? Yeah, it's been not been made clear to you, uh. Oh, 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 why I'm, yeah, yeah, why I'm in jail, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, time passes. You guys uh, traveling, make camp at the ruins? Yep. We make sure okay. that the dwarves don't have watch at the same time. Because we all know where that's going to go. Yeah. They'll be drunk <laughs> and asleep in no time. Yep. Okay, fine. Yes, yeah, very, 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 uh, Kind of short watches. Yeah. Do you, do you give every, every person a watch? Actually, here's what we're going to do, Graham. We're yeah. not going to do shorter watches, but we're going to do two people Ooh. to a watch. That way they can keep each other awake and alert. Yeah. Okay. And there'll be no, there'll be no mess-ups. Okay, sure. I'll take a watch with Murphy. I got my eye on him. He's a troublemaker. Okay. Hmm. Um, I, I don't know. I'll take my watch with whoever. It doesn't matter much. Okay, Just maybe, not the middle watch. Not the middle watch. That's fine. I'll take the middle watch this time. Uh, luckily for you guys, this area appears to be free of any distractions except for wolf pups. <laughs> I, I, we tie our war bands together onto a wolf. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Uh, but nothing nothing gets you in the night or anything. But uh, one thing you do know is that uh, before you wake up, it begins to rain. Perfect. Mm. We got sound effects for rain? Can I do... um The light rain. The I guess a climate sense roll in order to tell how long this is going to um, keep up. Sure. Right. You don't need to do that, Rick. <laughs> nope, I it's won't. I don't effects. know. On a tin no, roof. You, you, you don't know. That's the sound of it on my helmet. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe if I bothered to look earlier, we might have known, but oh well. I'm not a very good farmer. All right. Is that, coming, is that coming through, that sound effect? Yes. Yeah, that, that's really um, loud. This is perfect. It'll help, it'll help mask our smells and stuff, I say. Okay. More like noise. Who knows? I saw that they had some dog people. I imagine they have noses. Okay, day breaks. 14th day. We set out. Five hours later, there, there they are. There's the caves. We go around to the back using the map. Ansel and, uh, and Walzer, you don't get any breakfast. That's fine. If I have any bread left, I'll eat that. But... Yeah, I, I eat my spare bread. Sure, fine. Yeah. Okay, you guys go around and look at the map, right? We're careful. Okay, you, you, Slow going. No hurry. Okay. 
Yeah, you guys are able to find the, the entrance, the market entrance. Uh, Graham, here's what I'm going to do, if the No Breakfast okay. is brought to me, by the way. I'm going to create a song about how uh, Drogar are shit-eating scum lords, and I'm going to sing that constantly. <laughs> how, how, how does that go? Oh, Drogar, how cleanly you eat shit. Every day and every night, you're just a feasting on my shit. Ho, ho, ho. You know, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. And so how does that, how does that go for you? Uh, Willie says, sing it again. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm singing it constantly, and I'm getting louder and louder. I'm, like, singing it the loudest I can possibly sing it. Ansel sure. starts banging on his on his bucket <laughs> in, time, in time with the music. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, one of the guards at the door was like, "Shut up down there!" I sing even louder. <laughs> yeah, I, I knew you would. <laughs> and Ansel pees out the hole. <laughs> All right. You guys asked for it. That's fine. <sighs> Um, this is a uh, morning time, so the guys haven't gotten to the to the caves yet. Um, when this happens, um, well, time. Okay, you know what? Whenever the when the guys get to the to the cave entrance, the back entrance. Mm -hmm. Um. Um. Uh, Balbor comes back. Did you enjoy my song, you shit-eating scum lord? And he says, I'm going to get Andrew, okay? Just stop that infernal racket. Fantastic. <laughs> You're really tempting me to cut both of your tongues out. I don't say anything to that. I say, I'm not he, singing. I was just banging on the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> he, he leaves. He's not happy. Yeah. He stepped in pee on the way here. <laughs> he was yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, uh, okay, you guys find the boulder-covered entrance in the back side. Mm. All right. All right. Can we squeeze yeah. through it? Uh, everybody can but Roland. All right. Murray, I... Murray, 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 Murray's just fat, though. Um, <laughs> I'll have them get in before me. Okay. And then we'll, I'll, uh, I don't know, geology check to see if there are some stones I can move to fit. Mm, there are about U-sized boulders. I mean, they're all me-sized boulders. Uh, well, the ones that are causing the most problem. Mm, okay. Well, I'll have them get on one side to push, and then I'll pull from this side. Yeah. Okay. Let's get uh, muscle checks from everybody. Okay. Uh, my muscle, I believe, is. I got a 10. twenty-eight. Hey, both of you are ten. Yeah. I got a twenty. Damn. Okay, uh, well, the, the, the two halflings, Murray, critically fails. He adds weights to the rock. Murray, <laughs> <Damn, he laughs> you're such a problem. <laughs> you're a problem, Murray child, just, Murray. Murray! Murray, just stop. Murray, just stop. Just back away. <laughs> um, uh, the two dwarves um, are rather... Uh, Gimak is able to do okay. Burr doesn't help much. Um, he's not... Uh, Burr is actually very lanky, if you recall. He's the tallest dwarf you've ever seen. He's about four foot eleven. Mm -hmm. He's... Uh, and so he's very lanky and not very strong. Uh, Gimak helps, and uh, Ravis, the um, religious warrior, who we haven't explored much of his character, but he's there, and he is quite strong also. Right. Awesome. Um, and, yes, you, you were able to clear a big enough path for you to squeeze in, although only All just. Right. All right, then we would probably put the, the boulder back if we can. Yeah, yeah. That, well, that's actually what happens. You're only able to push it enough for Roland to squeeze by, and then it falls back into place. Good. All right. So... Here's, here's the deal, I say. They've got three of these things. Uh, I need... Who's got the best eyes? Especially in, you know... Who has special eyes? Yeah, has... I knew that was coming. <laughs> I smelt it. Everybody I could. Around. I mean, I don't want to typecast, but doors, I hear, they've got good night vision sometimes. That's entirely untrue. Okay, I'm sorry. That was so racist. Who's got the best eyes? Yeah. Um... They look at each other, and, they, and Murray says, I can't even see y'all, he says loudly. Shush! Murray, you're not allowed to talk for the rest of the time. You're too loud. 
<laughs> I just want to help. All right, Marie, you can help by killing things when he that part loudly. Happens. Killing things. All right, I can do that. And he picks up good. a rock. You stay in the back. He doesn't you have a weapon. Oh, my God, that's so good. Fucking Mari. <laughs> God, we should have uh, just left him. He's a merchant. That's what he does. Yeah. Yeah, we should have just left him. We should have just left him. I didn't realize he was so incapable. Anyway. Um, Comic relief character. Mm. I love Mark. <laughs> I love uh, Mark. Mark. That's my job, you bastard! <laughs> I kill him. <laughs> uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> so, I guess I'll volunteer. All right. Okay. You, you go in front. I'll be right behind you. I've got the... the, the aerosoling holy water things will when we encounter the hallways filled with undead hopefully we can neutralize them without any sound or hassle hopefully all right so then i guess i'll start leading the way when the uh, rain start being muffled now mm, sure i can't even hear the rain it's, That's just your sound it's, it's a light rain anyway it's not it's not Big. It's not a lot of brain. No, the sound was on, man. It just wasn't very loud at all. So, yeah. I might have a master volume. Mm. Your own volume settings might be low. No, yeah. it's on a mixing board, man. So it's fine. No, on roll twenty, the roll twenty yeah. has the sound. No, it's it's maxed out. So. Okay. I I had I had my volume down low on the on stream because it's a light brain. Mm. Anyway, anyway, we we progress. I'm behind England. England's in front. Um. Murray is in back, and someone is assigned to keep him out of trouble. Uh, no, you guys, you guys are moving in and amongst boulders all the way um, through this sloping pathway. That's a it actually has quite about a, almost like a thirty degree angle up. So it's quite it's quite hard going. Okay. Through this very dark, and it gets very dark in here, almost to the point where Engelard can't see. Oh boy. So what do you say, if anything? It's vision starting to, to vision starting to um, decrease greatly. I can't. It's starting to get hard, lot, lot, really hard to see. All right. If it gets to the point where you can't see anything, I guess we'll light a torch. But let's let's it's hold there. off on that. You can't see. Okay. Well, then we light a torch. Wait, 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 wait. Before we do that, uh, shit. I don't think I have a spell for this. Well, you can't oh, see it anyway because you got to open your book. You so. can't read it anyway. You <laughs> can't, can't read the book. Well, we can well, back can... up. Yeah, we should back up. Then I could cast it. <laughs> we can... That was the problem. We could back up and go to the place where there's light. <laughs> Just light the fucking torch, guys. <laughs> Shh. We're trying to be stealthy. Shh. Shh. I mean, too too fast. You can't backtrack. Do you want to be rescued or not, Walzer? I'm, I'm <laughs> doing my own rescuing right now, man. I got the fucking vocal cords. Okay, happens. let's talk to Andrew, who you've already talked to. He's going to tell you, I locked you in there for your own safety. And you're going to say, but I want to leave. And he's going to be like, you can't. And then we're going to have to rescue you. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, uh, do you light a torch? What he doesn't have a spell, so... Um, he said, don't wait. So I'm sitting there with my, uh, my lighter that I have. I don't have a lighter. But the basically, I'm sitting there with a the lighter to the torch. I'm like, uh... Okay. Uh, damn it. This is going to give our position away, but do it. Okay, if you don't have another light source thing, I gotta do it. Nobody else has, like, a flashlight. Those haven't been invented yet. I'll get right on that. Um, <laughs> There's nobody, so nobody else can see in the dark, then? Nobody else can see in the dark. These are useless hill dwarves instead of awesome mountain dwarves. These are, these are merchant hill dwarves, a merchant halfling, a, and a rogue, and, and, and Ravis, who is a, technically a paladin. I mean, awesome. Paladins don't have cast light, do they? He, anyway, he's a ha he's a halfling paladin, so he didn't have, really have any spells at the moment. <laughs> it's a uh, long story. Don't worry about that it. That is a long story. It sounds like an incredibly long. story. I light the torch. Okay. <laughs> you can see uh, a long boulder-strewn hallway that leads up at a thirty-degree angle. All right, you hold the torch, England. I'll get right. ready with the aerosol device called the England after you. All right. Okay, you, you keep moving forward. Uh, it takes about uh, 200 to 300 feet. It's hard to judge distance um, until hey. you see a kind of light ahead. Well, we see light, then we would stop. I think well, we, we probably... the torture light out, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
the light is very dim. It's obviously from torchlight, um, very sparse torchlight. Um, and you, when you approach nearby, you see what appears to be that this boulder-strewn hallway exits into a hallway, ten, uh, uh, actually a 20-foot chamber, actually. Hmm. This is from a distance, so you can't really see much detail. All right. But what can I guess? Um, do I see anyone dead? Obviously. Nope. Hmm. It's pretty, we'll continue cautiously. Continuing cautiously, that's fine. Um, you get up there, you see kind of a. It appears that this hallway was either was is the hallway is natural, uh, and it appears this connection was made by demolishing the wall that that is part of this complex and so there's like uh granite rubble and stuff um once you get further up um and you okay. you kind of see that there are straight ahead from the hallway you see kind of a, a, a an alcove that leads to another chamber a large chamber to your right um and to your left you see a two ways you can go but nothing really detailed um there's torchlight like every 10 feet so there's a there's a lull in, in brightness does the alcove? Does it look like the alcove is the one that um that was described? On the, on the map, on, on the map that was drawn, that would be the chamber that has the skeletons in it. Hmm. So we probably don't want to go there. Well, I guess I, we'll, I don't know what you want to do. I, we probably don't want to go there. It doesn't sound like that's leading to where we want to. Maybe an area we don't want. I don't know. Let's just keep going forward. Okay, well, that's, that, that's what I'm telling you. Going going past the alcove, then? Yes, glancing in to make sure that's the skeleton one. Okay, who's who's glancing in? Who knows what that could be? Um, I, I would. I mean, I'm you in the front. Glance. That's fine. Do you tell them to wait, or do they follow you into the into the main hallway? I would tell them to wait a moment while I looked in. You peek around, you see a... Uh, probably a 50 by 40 foot um, chamber that is very high, uh, about even 15 or 20 foot ceiling. Uh -huh. Tell me uh, more. Torchlight, bright torchlight. There is um, about 12 skeletons that are collapsed onto the floor, um, six to a side, like um, slumped against the walls. And then there is a dais that's got steps that lead up to the dais, and there is a throne. And on the throne is an armored skeleton that's slumped over. On the skeleton room. Let's just keep going past it. I cautiously go past the alcove. Okay. Uh, when you get to the fork, um, to your left, you see a longer hallway, and you hear moaning, like zombie-like moaning. You're, you're familiar yeah. with zombies, not like zombies. Oh, yeah. I am familiar. And then to the oh, right yeah. is a longer hallway. Oh, yeah. Um. To the left of the uh, zone. Yeah. right hallway kind of leads around, lead, leads actually around, so the hallway disappears around a uh, corner. I don't know what's around that way. We know to our left is zombies, to our right is unknown. What do we do? What do you guys want to do? All right, so we explain the geometry one more time. To the left, okay, so you, ex you exited the boulder passageway. Okay, right. So the which exits into the uh, main hallway. Or right, a, a twenty-foot wide hallway, rather. Okay. To the right is a alcove, and in the alcove leads to a chamber that's got skeletons in it. Gotcha. Back to the right main hallway. Skeletons. Yeah, moving moving forward down the main hallway. To the left is a sh short hallway that leads to a chamber that is dark, but you can hear that it's got moaning in it. Okay. Well, uh, I remember from Abscess that he said that there was a room with skeletons that was all by itself and had nothing to do with anything. I mean, there yep. could be fabulous treasure in there, but that's not what we're here for. He said past the zombies was where the Caves of Chaos were, and he got captured by the zombies. Yes. Mm, that's, that, yes. So, we're going to go, we're going to uh, confront the zombies with our special secret. Yes. Okay. Sure. So, to the, to the left, then. Yes. Yep. Okay. So, the short hallway is about a 30-foot hallway, and then darkness. Torch. Oh. We'll just take one off a wall. There was torchlight, wasn't there? Yeah, there was. And we'll just take one. Okay. Then what? Move down the hallway. Then, yes. And we get ready. We get ready with the England one. The England Mark one. Okay. Sure. England one. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, why don't we all roll for initiative? Sure thing, boss. Because the zombies will surely recognize the torchlight uh, oh, man, moving. I'm killing it today. Not you. you. Yeah. Not you. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> uh, go back to. Yeah, screen. I always yeah. roll super high on initiative. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I don't have any weapon pulled right now. That's fine. Yeah, okay. Good job. Let me get man. this down. Okay, uh, Angular 9, we're all in 19. Okay, that's fine. Um, all of, all, uh, generic NPCs, or not generic NPCs, but, uh, uh NPCs 17. Uh, zombies always go last, no matter what. Cool. Okay, that's good. Special, special rule. Okay, that's uh, Angular, what do you want to do? Well, obviously, I'm going to relay to them. Relay to them. I'll take the zombies right up ahead. And zombies always go last as a special roll. You sure? I think <laughs> well, that's really that good because I rolled really high. <laughs> various monster luring. Yeah. Um, you know that uh, zombies always go last. <laughs> yeah. We should zombie zombies have terrible reaction time. We should have enough time. We should have um just enough time to throw. Role playing it into the actual game. Yeah, it's it. enough. It's <laughs> enough. Not that hard. Yeah. All right. One XP. <laughs> that, yeah, well, well, maybe. I mean, it's not that hard. It, All right. It made sense that zombies have terrible reaction time. Thank you, Um, shit. I guess just in case this fails, uh, the thing fails, I'm going to pull out my sword. and um, Which one? A regular sword for the moment. Okay. The, the Eighth Barrier one is for special circumstances. That's fine. Well, drawing, drawing the sword will change your initiative, technically, but uh, you're actually so far ahead that it won't make a difference. Yeah. But yeah, that's where... Uh, that's the, the NPCs will look for you for, and you know, an order. I'll tell them to hold, to hold for now. Burr will line up a shot with his crossbow down the hallway, so he's going to actually guard the square yep. um, immediately outside the darkness. And so That's he will true. fire whenever that ha when, whenever something enters that area. Mm. Remember, I have all my own um, leadership stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, good. Uh, yeah, that's what, that's all they can do. Murray looks on with um, the rock anticipation. Yeah, he's got a rock. Okay, I uh, give I give Murray a heroic like eye lock. Like this is it. And you nod your head slightly. Yeah, exactly. We we have a moment. You blow a kiss to him before you go into bed. He, he he blinks a couple of times. It gets really awkward. Okay then. <laughs> yeah, I don't blow a kiss to him. Anyway. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, and then and then Roland. Yeah. So we have not yet actually seen any zombies. No. You hear zombies shuffling in your direction. All right. So here's what I say. If it's just one, there's there's no reason to waste our special secret. The special secret is for, uh, as I was told, corridors filled with them. So, we're gonna, if it's just one, kill it normally. We can do that. We're all heroes here. I'm going to save my special secret for hordes of them. And or groups of larger than two. <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons, everyone! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, zombies begin to pour out of the darkness. <laughs> oh god, lots of them? <laughs> I think that's a horde. Is it more than two? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> ah, I throw the thing! I throw the thing! It's too late for that. Calm down. <laughs> I help my action. Don't you do that to me. That's true. <laughs> you, can do the, you, can, you can do the same thing that uh, Burr did and, and guard, your, guard the square outside of the darkness. <laughs> gotcha. So as, 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 as eight the zombies darkness. exit... Yeah. <laughs> um, Burr will release his crossbow bolt first. Yep. Um, the arrow, the bolt um, flies harmlessly above the zombies into the darkness. Oh, he got the darkness. That's what he was guarding against. So. You hear someone say, yeah. oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Who shoots a bow into the darkness? Boy! <laughs> okay, it's and okay, then this attack will kill them all. Hopefully. Well, it, it just... you, you harmlessly spray water on the zombies. God damn it, you took the wrong <laughs> one. 
All right, Roland, what's the... Uh, I get 11 to try and hit a correct 5x5 five five square, so I guess I get a 15x15 15 15 square instead. Oh, no, wait, it's 10. I only have to get a 10. Uh, Not yeah. 11. Yeah, that's true. So I, I landed right in the middle of all of them, and it right starts misting holy water. water. It starts to mist. How, how long would that take? One round? Sure. Okay, we'll see. I think one. it'll slowly fill an even larger space as time goes on. Yeah, but it, yeah, it will obviously disperse uh, accordingly. Yeah. But the zombies, of course, have no idea what that is. They have no brains. Engelard. <laughs> they have no brains. <laughs> They they oh. they begin to move towards the way. They move very slowly, fifteen feet at a time. So you've got uh, another round before they're going to get to you. All right. Um, Man, I wouldn't it be I great if Engelhard still used a crossbow? Oh wait. Yes, it would. <laughs> I do use a crossbow. All right. Yeah, let's see if you actually pull. hit something with it. This will be Here's a hint. I'm not. Here's a hint. I'm not going to. <laughs> so one d twenty plus. Place your bets, folks. Place your bets. Yeah. Are they medium sized? Yeah. Yeah. So eight. Minus what? Ten to uh, one odds. Ten to no, one odds. He misses. <laughs> this is minus uh, seventeen. <laughs> Holy shit! Hey! Hey! He did damage. Oh! He did damage. Now the problem, though, with zombies is that they don't work the same as regular enemies because they of don't course. really they don't bleed the same way and they don't take oh, yeah. positional damage like they do. Uh, zombies have a <laughs> kind of limited form of hit points, like a normal role playing game, right? Mm. Yeah. But there are a headshot can kill a zombie, right? Sure. Yeah, sure. So roll it. Exactly where Engelard's bolt goes is straight through the eyes of the of the hey! zombie. Ta -da! But and the zombie. And then Graham argues, but the eye is not actually the brain, so there. No. <laughs> no. The, 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 the crossbow bolt. We zoom in behind the crossbow bolt with the camera as it goes, and yeah. uh, in the film version, and it it. Yep. Uh, Hits the zombie and the zombie collapses backwards. I'd probably just say, remember, any any blows to the head kills kills them. So try hitting the head this time. Sure. All right. Um, let's see the all the NPCs. What do you want them to do? Um. If you have any range just... attacks, make them. Yep. Basically. Uh, yeah, Burr will, will fire his shot. Uh, he'll make a call shot to the head after Angular's display. Yep. I'll just you know I'll just roll mine and roll twenty because who cares. Yeah, also remember he gets a leadership bonus from England. Yep, yeah, plus one. Okay. Yeah, we would have completely fucking forgot about that if it wasn't for that. Yeah. Also, roll. I think that wouldn't that apply to Roland? No. Or... Yeah, I made my hit anyway, so. Yeah, yeah I know, I'm just saying, would that, when, for the future, wouldn't but it Roland? Wasn't, it wasn't a bow and arrow, though. It's not, it's not ranged, actually. It's not ranged, it's thrown. Uh, well, I guess it is ranged. It's uh, plus yeah. one to ranged attack, so we'll say yes for the future. Yep. All right. Does that mean that fucking. Murray gets like a plus one on, his, on rock his rock throw. Sure. Yeah, well. <laughs> he might even hit. Oh, hey, there's Burr. Nice. Good job. Oh, Burr. I forgot to account for the headshot, though. Ah, well, yeah. does it still make? It'd be minus easy. four. Two, it's two damage. Still, mm -hmm. that's an instant kill. To the head. To the head. Blink. Yeah. Let me, let me just. Cheek. <laughs> See, it can be a headshot, but it, it might can't it might not go through kind of thing. So like five damage is enough to pierce, you know, cause cause damage. Okay. I mean, I two damage is not two damage is gonna is gonna be a graze. It's not gonna be a puncture or anything. So two damage is gonna graze. Probably just say something like just a little bit to the right or something. Yeah, there's still seven. Oh, that's good. Yeah, doing that leadership. Good job, Jacob. Yeah, good job, Jacob. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Good job, Jacob. The only classically trained actor in the hentai group. Uh, Murray will throw his rock. Nice. <laughs> oh, no, this should Murray. be Murray. 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 Oh, Murray. Oh. Jeez. I mean, I mean he, he actually got. got... Attack roll. <laughs> he actually had a decent roll. No, he did. Yeah, he did. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, okay, the rest of the guys, melee guys, will hold their actions. Yep. Pretty uh, sweet guard, square guarding though. the squares in front of y'all in order to show if the zombies approach, they can take a swing. The rest of these guys, um, Burr, no, Gimak with his sword, um, Rabus with his short sword, and uh, Baimon with his um, daggers, they will be able to take attacks whenever the zombies approach. All right, on Graham, them. on a scale from 1 to 10, how moist are the zombies right now? 
<laughs> yeah, as their flesh no is coughing off, <laughs> they bursting into flames. Well it's, well, it's Roland's turn now, so let's check on that. How about <laughs> give me 3d6, and this is going to count for all of them. Mm. And each of those d6 is going to count towards one of the body parts. Mm. Eight total. Yep. Uh. Uh, oh. e four, let's You were referring to the holy water. I was thinking of something completely different. <laughs> that's where everybody. That's. I mean, that's where everybody's mind went to. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> we'll see yours though. Okay. Yes. The zombies are in fact sizzling with holy might. Woohoo! It's working. Oh, well, yes, that's good. The, the zombies are actually um. Uh, as confused as zombies can be, um, they are technically stunned for the time being. They're like, you know, they're oh, wow. walking, they're misting, they're like, yeah, skin is starting to sizzle and burn, and they're like, they're, they're stopping for a second before they start moving again. So they're giving a, giving a split second for the rest of the p party to take another turn. Hmm. Right? Yep. Yep. Rolling. What has the smell in this entire thing, by the way? I, uh, I'm going to let this mist keep <laughs> doing its job. I'm not going to waste another one. There might be yet more zombie packs up ahead. Sure, sure. Angular? Um, while they're confused, I'm going to see if I can take another shot. Okay. Well, I, only Shots. for that would be nice. I'd prefer just doing any damage, since it looks like okay. this that's doing work. Sure. Right. Okay, yeah, let's see. Uh, yeah, one of the crossbow bolt shoots in, uh, you know, sticks into one of the zombies' gut, but still keeps coming unperturbed. <sighs> really? uh, NPCs, Burr, here we go. Uh, let's see. What did I do? Plus seven. <clears throat> uh, Burr, I think he's going to still do a call shot. Gave him some guidance. Yep. Uh, ah. you got a miss. Yep. Wouldn't it be plus seven though? I thought. For what? From the because um plus hits and plus one from the leadership, or is the plus hits already have the leadership? Uh well. Should be so with the leadership it would be plus seven, but it's called shot minus four, so it should be actually so, be it should be zero. So yeah, I mean it doesn't do doesn't do anything, but. Meh. Yeah. Good to remind me. I, I can't remember that. All right, the rest of the guys are still waiting. Uh, Wondering what's his face picked up another rock. Murray. 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 Even the zombies start chanting in it because it sounds like. Oh! Murray! Yeah, Murray. Here we go. He found a pebble. And he's like, well, he puts his hand over his eyes because he's afraid, and he and he <laughs> throws it, and it hits the ceiling, and it hits the ground, and it gets doused in holy water as it goes through the mist, and uh, and pings one of the zombies right in the eye, and it goes through the eye and into the brain, and the zombie dies. Oh, Murray! Oh, you killed one. Good job, and that, and he, and he po uh, pokes one eye out of his fingers, and he spreads apart. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I'm going to I clap him on the back. You're a hero, Murray. I'm going to look stunned that that actually worked. Okay, yeah. Um, Roland, anything else? Uh, do I roll again for damage? Yeah, please do. Four, four, Twelve. Four, four, four. four. Okay, um, yes. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Um, so much of the, zo um, the zombie that got the crossbow bolt in the belly... Um, that begins to like dissolve around the crossbow bolt wound, so the crossbow bolt falls out, but the zombie um, torso disintegrates enough that it falls. The, the torso falls off the legs, right? Yep. Oh, then. So that's down to six. No, that's down to five. Five zombies. Um, the one that got grazed in the head does the same. The graze begins to dissolve around the gray, around the wound and dissolves the brain enough that the zombie falls over dead. Right? Woohoo! The zombies, however, will actually continue to move this time. 
So they are going to get within striking distance of the melee, of the NPCs with melee uh, attacks ready. There's only four zombies left, so um, let's see. This is going to be Ravis the Paladin. He swings. Okay, one, uh, one damage. That's fine. That's He's pretty fucking awesome. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's a paladin. Yep. He's a warrior class. He's got plus oh, yeah. five base attack bonus. Um, let's see. Uh, Ravis with his daggers. Wait, 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 wait. Did you include the plus one? From a melee commander? Oh, two damage, two damage, pardon me. Yeah. So, wouldn't that also, so wouldn't that kill him? Uh, I mean, uh, no, because it wasn't a call shot or anything. So it wasn't like a right. headshot or anything. It's right, just, just make to make sure. him disintegrate even faster. It's going to graze, yeah, exactly. Doing some damage is better than doing no yep. damage, yes. Uh, yeah, so uh, Ravis will slash the zombie across the torso. Uh, well, slash, I mean graze, whatever. Um, okay, and then Ravis is going to get, uh, uh, sorry, Baimon is going to get two shots with the dagger. She's got uh, dual wielding, dual wielding dagger, so he's going he's gonna to come up two. Okay, zero, fine. Did you include the plus one? Okay, one damage, pardon me. Five damage, that's pretty good. Hmm. Um, one five. Get, you know, that's... stab. he's going to stab one of the zombies in the thigh. And then who else was there? Uh, yeah, Gimac. Oh yeah, he's got he's pretty good. Remember the plus one. Oh yeah, good call. Hey. Yeah. Holy shit. Nice. Um Gimac will go for the uh he's gonna go for the uh incapacitating blow and he's going to do like a overhead sweep with his heirloom sword. And um He's going to swing into the zombie, one of the zombies' uh, knees and sever it. Sever a knee? Damn. Yeah, it's, it, it like falls apart and squishy and like a bug crawls out of it. Yeah. And the, the zombie falls over but still keeps crawling towards the party. All right. I mean, they'll burn it now. That was, uh, that was the zombie's turn. Now to Engelard. They're too close to, to shoot them with a the crossbow. Might as well stab them with a sword. Sure. So, 1d, 20 yeah, plus 4. four. Four left, one of which is crawling. Plus four. What, I get a bonus for attacking the one that's crawling? Yeah, plus 4. Ooh, I'm attacking the one that's crawling. You can do a headshot for free, then. He's not a four. threat, though. He is a threat. He's gonna. He's still crawling at the party. Yeah. Might as well take out... Oh, that'd be 1d, 20 plus 4 for a free headshot. Minus sure. 17. Nope. Nope. Oh, back to just... regular Angelad. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, I'm using the weaker my my much weaker role too. Now we That's... return to your regular scheduled programming. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my regular, Ra Graham, not Graham, no. sorry, Dave. My regular scheduled programming is missing with the bolts, but but somehow doing re stupid shit with a sword. Oh, you hit with a sword this time, right? Okay, makes sense. Yeah. Yep. Because literally, if it was ready. Honestly, if I just kept the crossbow out and I didn't go for a cold shot, I'd do five damage. But it doesn't matter either way. It doesn't matter. Okay. It doesn't matter. Over midnight. This is Ravis. He's going to attack the one on the ground for a free um, cold shot to the head. Wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. Um, plus one. Plus yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus no, one. I, I, I added the plus one this time. Oh. oh. Was, in last time, I added, I added 11. Getting us all excited for no reason, Graham. Yeah, Damn. sorry. It's your fault. Okay, uh, Ravis with, or not, uh, not Ravis, um, Baimon with two daggers, so I'll add the, this will be Hey, I haven't had real stuff. damage yet this turn. Well, that's because, that's because last that, time. Well, they, they had, uh, attacks of opportunity, essentially, yeah. when the. Oh, oh, they get to roll twice. Yes. This is the NPC's actual turn. Yes, I see. Actual. Okay, that's wow. a miss from Baimon, another mm. miss from Baimon, um, Damn. and then the last one is Gimak, he's got 15, let me add, the. Uh, Oh, the plus one I added for that one, so it is plus 15. Yep. Two damage, damage, okay. Yeah. Mm. And br bad rolls all around. Yeah, oh, wait, well. don't don't we still have um two more? Right. Murray, I know. Murray is, um, is not... He's he's basking in his uh, kill. Oh, and then the other... Right. We Murray. still have something, though. We're going to have another phase of damage from the mist. <laughs> we also up have. Here. We also. Aren't we missing one other person to uh, shoot a crossbow uh, bolt? I... Burr 
um, yeah, um, sure, yeah, Burrow can back up and shoot a crossbow bolt. He's going to have to back up a little ways. Uh, see, he doesn't want to do that, though. It's firing into a melee. Yeah, and he's not good, as we've previously discussed. He's not that good. No, he's not that good. Oh, well. Okay, two damage. Causes some uh, minor wound on the, on the leg. And then, uh, uh, Roland, damage, 3d6. Damn. Ten! One's a crit, but one's a crit fail. Doesn't matter. Ten! Doesn't matter. Um, that's enough. The zombie who has lost his leg um, is eaten up the rest of the way with the holy mist. Um, right. th this is working super well, guys. I give a <laughs> thumbs up all around. <laughs> Secondly, the rest of the zombies' um, skin begins to fall off onto the ground. And, um, like, um, any facial features the zombies had is sloughing off, and you, you really see bare bone. Hmm. And zombies kind of slump to their knees. See, those zombies are getting a boner for the fight. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I made oh, for God's sake. That's, that's a terrible joke. I, I knew, the moment I said it, I regretted it. <laughs> like, the moment it came out of my mouth, I'm like, oh my god, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's good that you, it, the first step is recognizing that you have a problem. Oh. <laughs> 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 <sighs> <sighs> Oh, All right, yes, shit. the zombies are still technically alive, but, uh, you know, the, the rest of the party makes short work of them. You know, slash, yeah. slash, slash, kill, or decapitate, whatever you have, what yeah. have you. All right, guys. It that is now. So I, I turn to my party and I say, good job. But it's 1040, so the show's over. So we're going to all stand here motionless for a week <laughs> until we play again. Actually, we got another 23 minutes, if my time yeah, is correct. Yeah. Yeah. Can't yeah. be. We started at 6.30. 23 10 minutes. Just remember, just remember the break I time. I don't count we're, breaks, we're, man. We're, Come we're, on. We're, 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 we don't count the breaks, remember? Yeah. Right, but we took one less break than usual. But it was a longer break. It was a normal break. Yeah, it's fine, man. We got another 20 minutes. It's cool. Murray. 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 Antho and Walzer. I can't keep playing. for. I can play for like 10 minutes, maybe. Okay, that's, that's fine. Uh, we're we're done, we're done with y'all guys anyway. Okay. <laughs> we need so you leave, anyway. Leave, 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 leave when you need to. We'll pretend you're here. Okay. Uh, uh, Ansel and Walzer. Yes. Yes. You guys are sitting there. Bored. Correct. Eventually, the door to the Dwargar stronghold opens, and uh, Andrew walks through. And he looks at you, he's got a very stern expression on his face. Or he looks not at you, but I guess you can't see that. He walks up and look, gives you a stern expression. Mm. He's like, how long do you plan on keeping me here? As long as necessary. You're you know, safe in here. I don't think you have sound judgment. I think you need to let me out. Um, it doesn't really matter what you think, uh, Walzer. You're the one in the cage. I'm doing this for your protection. If you don't think that, you know, why don't you wait 30 years and have a son, and then you can we can have that discussion. You know, considering that you're my father, you've done very little to help me out here, aside from throw me into a cage and watch me rot. What would you have me do? There's a lot I can do. And yet you leave me here. Yeah, well, it's, you know, I, you know, I leave you alone for, you know, a day and you pick a fight with an orc for no reason. Actually, I picked a fight with an orc before I even knew, you even knew that I was here. I was trying Trust to me, get... I, I, I was trying to get him to talk to one of his leaders so that I could get your attention. He says, yes, you got it, and almost died in the process. There are easier ways to go uh, about things, Walzer. So what are you, capturing humans now? There's two in that other cell, and you've got me here. What are you actually planning on doing? Two. 
Yes, there's <laughs> two in the other cell. He goes and looks over and he sees Ansel in his cell. Says, well, I, I, I guess at this point I, I was sort of like leaning against the door, listening, so I'm going to like shy away because now, now I've heard the name that I've been, you know, searching for. Okay, yeah. So, so I know the gym there? is full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> he's, talking, he's talking into your cell. He says, son, you in there? Um, yes, sir. I'm here. What is, what is your name? Uh, my name is Ansel. And so who, who put you in here? Uh, those, those little dwarves. They tricked me. Says Balber. Telling to Balber. What's the meaning of this? I told you not to take any more captives. And he says, just a little, uh, just a little, uh, ransoming on the side. What's the, what's the big, what's the big problem? And he says, I told you no more captives. And he says, I'm, I'm working on our deal. You know, you got to give me time to work. You can't be arousing any suspicions. Okay, the other monsters are going to catch wind eventually, and then we're gonna, uh, all going to be in trouble. All right, let him out now. He says, so you're going to talk. He says, good, we want, we want him to talk. We want him to say that they captured him. And... Um, you know, we putting on this face that the uh, the Dwargar are uh, still still as monstrous as the rest of them. Um, son, Ansel. Yes. And he says, why 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 were you in the woods? I I I was looking for the man that you are speaking to now. Walzer? I was looking for Walzer. What for? I'm not sure I should say. And he says, "Well, come with me. Come with me. We'll we'll have a chat." I bang on the door uh, and I'm like, "You uh, better I, not I, leave I, me in here." I grab Willie and go along. Okay. And he says, "Yeah, come come with me. Tell me tell me everything." Hmm. He, I mean, they they let you out of the cell and give you your gear back all of all of my gear so i have everything back now yep okay um so basically i don't trust these people at all because they threw me in this cell uh really and i'm even doubting trusting walzer because he's been lying to me for the past few days sure um but i, I guess i sort of like look back towards Walzer's cell to, like, see if I can get a glimpse of him. And uh, I'm going to say, Walzer, if that's truly you, I'll be back for you. And then I follow and walk away. Oh, well, Andrew is standing right there, and he says, trust me, uh, you won't. Oh. And he says, I Walzer, pee on the floor. No, no more captives. <laughs> And then he pushes Balbar against the wall. Okay. And then he leaves with you at his heels, presumably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I well, I because him him sort of knocking uh, uh, Balbar down sort of pleases me because that's the bastard that locked me up. Okay, sure. <clears throat> and he, you know, he as you walk outside, you know, it's raining a little bit. Okay. Now the rain just kind of subsided, but he puts his arm around you, and he uh, so start from the beginning. And then that's uh, we'll we'll cut back to Walzer for a second before we end. Sure. Um, any, any, anything to muse aloud? Um, I'm just fucking frustrated that uh, I'm in this situation that I have literally nothing, no control over whatsoever. And yeah, um, there are people in jail feel that way. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And I'm starting to regret even talking to my father at this point. Hmm, interesting. Mm. Okay, that's a, I think well, that's a good place to start. Spencer has mentioned to me he needs to, to end uh, before now. So it's a good place to start. We'll end it. Good night, everybody. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess that 
that ends uh, another session of Dive Party Pod Juice. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Next week, we'll, we'll finish clearing the zombie thing and then jailbreak, and then that'll be fun. Um, How fun. Sister's wedding. Next oh, week? yeah. Angelard will not be here. That's a problem, isn't it? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Maybe we'll play Fiasco. Yeah, maybe we'll play something else. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I have, I have no control over that. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. We, we knew it at long ahead of time, so it's okay. Yeah. All you have to do is... Uh, Convince her fiance to leave her at the altar. Yeah, oh, no. yeah that's good. That's oh, good. No. Be, be on the floor. <laughs> yeah, you. exactly. A certain right. dominance. Yeah. This will all depend on if I can get internet there or if she has literally no internet. No, no, don't, no. no, don't no, worry about no, it. Yeah, worry. Yeah, 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 seriously. All right. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, so, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you had fun. Uh, we had a little bit of internet problems in between, but we got it sorted out in the end. Uh, thanks everyone who followed. We had about 16-ish followers today, which is pretty good. That's a pretty good number. If you haven't, and you want to support the stream, and you enjoyed what you saw, uh, please consider giving the channel a follow, either on Twitch or on Hitbox. Either one's fine. And, uh, yeah... We'll be hopefully playing Blood Juice, not Blood Juice, uh, Hex on Thursday, which starts at uh, 6 p.m. PST. And hopefully that'll start up again. Something we might. Something else on Saturday. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll probably play something else on Saturday. Uh, maybe Fiasco, maybe we'll find another one shot that we can do. Who knows? We'll come up with something in between then and now. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you if you enjoyed the die party stuff, I mean, there's, check out the YouTube channel, which is like, like links down below, whatever channel you're on, because um, there's over 170 hours worth of archived die party content there for everyone to enjoy, including the first season of Blood Jews and uh, the the Hex game, which we've been missing a lot of games of Hex, but that's really no one's fault in particular. So it's just kind of <laughs> how things have worked out with that game, unfortunately. It's GDC's fault. Yeah, man, I gotta, I gotta work. Get rid of video games. I gotta, I gotta yeah. work. Yeah, so. death, death to the game developers conference. Yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. We out of here. Have a good night. I'll probably be so back nice. later tonight. Play a bit more games. Very well. We'll see. Auf Wiedersehen. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>